All right, Chris, first is going to be Dwayne Rankin, and then we'll have Kellen Olsen. Real quick, Chris, uh, obviously you got two games, these, these last two games, and, you know, you talk a lot about learning experiences and what can be gained from it, but uh, you've been in a situation before. You have a lot of team, teammates that have it. What are you hoping those guys gain from these last two games that can help you guys move the needle forward? Um, you know, that game last night, it was a experienced team that's been together for a while, you know, and I think we came out – tonight with the right energy. Um, you know, that, that team over there got a lot of vets, guys has been in a lot of situations. So, excuse me, I'm, I'm proud of how, how we competed. You know, it's never any moral victories, but I, I think we can learn a lot from tonight. Just a, a quick follow. I mean, you've been playing, you've seen Pat Beverly for, for years, and I just trying to figure out tonight, you know, the play that you two had. And I mean, it, I, I, I'm just trying to figure that out. I mean, what, what do you make of that? Because it just it, it just threw me seeing it. I'm, I've watched him play for years. I'm just curious your 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 thoughts on it. Uh, nothing. I, I mean, I'm worried about me. I was actually trying to. I played a game. You know what I mean? Like I knew that he was about to try to take a foul, so I I jumped trying to get a three, <laughs> trying okay. to see if I could get three free throws. So, I mean, it is what it is. Next, we're going to Kellen Olson with the Arizona Sports and then Gina Mizell. Hey, Chris, last night you talked about this team needing more games like this, and, and it just seems like the younger guys, Mikel, Devin, Cam, DeAndre, have all responded to this well. Uh, you talked about being proud of your team. How have you liked the response from the younger guys in this new environment for them? Uh, it's fun. It's fun. Um, you know, this is why you play, you know, for the energy for these games. There's nothing like it. Um, <laughs> And we, we got to expect that, you know, for the rest of the season, um, this is what we're going to get from teams. You know, we, we still haven't proven anything to, to anybody yet. And I think we got a team where we, we try to prove things ourselves. Uh, ourselves. We expect a lot from ourselves. And um, it's, a, it's, it's a great team to be on and a, and a great group of guys to be around. Next is Gina Mizell with sons.com and then Nick Hamilton. Hey, Chris, I'll, I'll piggyback off that last question and just say, can you even notice in games when like the wheels are turning with guys or things click with guys like, OK, they're starting to get what it takes to to win in these moments, to play well in these moments, or maybe even like earlier today when you guys are going over film? Like, I'm just curious if you're even seeing that like kind of happen in, in real time. Yes, yeah, it's, the, it's the communication in the huddles. You know what I mean? I think D.A. D.A. had a play tonight where Book drove and he stepped right into it and got it. It's, it's little things like that. And it's just uh, the competitiveness. You know, uh, guys are just, you know, it's, it's, it's different when you're in these situations. You know, guys may try to punk you or stuff like this. So you, you got to be ready to compete and, and be smart at the same time. Final two questions are Nick Hamilton with iHeartMedia and Dave King. Hey, Chris. Uh, first of all, just wanted to get your thoughts on what you saw. What, what was the, the, the difficulty that you guys faced, especially in the second half with that Clippers defense? Um, you know, they did a good job of shrinking the court, mucking the game up a little bit. Uh, Rondo came in and changed the pace of it. You know, he made shots, uh, found guys or whatnot. So, um, you know, they, they, they beat us tonight. You know, they, they played well together. And yeah, we got another game on Saturday. Final question is Dave King with Bright Side of the Sun. Hey, Chris, you guys have won games this year without making a lot of threes. And tonight the Clippers obviously shot well and you guys didn't, but those were games where you, you kept the turnovers down. Um, uh, what happened there with it with, with so many live ball turnovers tonight? What do you, what do you think was going um, on? Morris Twin actually tapped one away from me early. Threw a couple away. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have to go back and look at the film. But like I said, we'll we'll figure out what we can what we can get better at. Thank you for the time, Chris. No problem. Thank you.